dollar index after showing a swing last to last week has given a good breakout last week and stayed above 104 levels in fact has gone close to 105.3 but yes still very much shy of 105.5 and 106 levels because beyond that certainly more bullishness will become also now it is trading well far above this bearish channel in which it was now it is trying to look forward to a reversal you can see on the bottom it has got very strong support from the lower levels of this channel so now what to expect which position you should take in order to profit next week we will see with the help of charts and indicators do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon which keeps you updated with the latest analysis of major global global markets and commodities let's start in this analysis first we'll look into charts followed with indicators and towards the end i will give you the trading levels and strategy to watch out for do watch till the end listen to it carefully note down the levels trade as per the levels now let's begin with the daily now see one observation on the daily charts is the megaphone pattern which means that there could be one red candle which might bring it back to the original levels that is the one possibility second possibility yes there is a resistance at 105.5 i have told several times right now it is trying to look at lower highs we can see couple of candles going to the lower high levels and re recovering or reversing and hence you have to watch for 105.5 levels any point of time till it's below 105.5 there could be a reversal which might see and the drop confirmation the bearish confirmation is only if you see it trading below 104.5 first once it stays below 104.5 there could be further drop for 104 103.5 and once it draws below 103.5 that is the bearish reversal confirmation till that time possibly it can try to look forward to further strengthen itself it can try to show a little more bullishness as it has just come out of this bearish channel there is a possibility of a little more rise if it continues to trade above 105.5 and 106 levels now look at the weekly chart on the weekly charts the observation is same support levels are a little far away at 103 and 102 and only below which it is to be bearish right now it is still trying to trade a bit bearish though it has come out of this channel it is still trying to create something which can still bring little more bearishness however right now it is trying to recover next destination you have to watch out for 106 107 zone and then 108 above this you can see there are stops here you can see this was the consolidation zone so possibly this can be the next resistance zone also and once it stays above this what it is it may try to look at is this so for now see you can see multiple candles getting the highs very well aligned to this channel and these are all parallel channels and now if it continues to rise it is going to get the resistance precisely as i said see first 106 then 107 and till 108 it has got very very strong resistance so yes in next few weeks only and only if you see it trading above 108 you can confirm that it is trying to trade bullish as it can uh, in fact reverse from any point of time for 106 107 it can reverse any point of time till those levels that is the next observation now let's have a look at the monthly charts on the monthly charts lower highs are done lower lows are seen this is not yet a reversal till the time 105.5 106 levels are to be breached also we had seen that it has completed this symmetry till here almost at the same levels and trying to recover or reverse from here also if you look at see it is trying to trade bullish like this i will be definitely watch out for 107 108 levels and beyond that further bullishness might be seen so till then we have to trade with caution but now let's have a look with the help of indicators what does the indicators are saying? indicators on the daily charts it is trying to cross over bullish the 20 period moving average have crossed over this is a bullish indication this is divergent and possibly even if it tries to retrace till the time it stays above 103 there will be a possibility of a rise again but right now it is given a megaphone pattern on a daily charts for first two days for the next a uh, week you have to be very cautious it can reverse a bit directional movement divergent and bullish on the daily charts stock ISTIC is again looking upwards and has come to overbought levels the MACD is divergent and bullish it is still looking upwards it the MACD is still showing a little strength 
RSI is also trying to look upwards, but it is near to very much to overbought levels. Now look at the weekly chart. On the weekly charts, likewise, the resistance here at 105.5, very, very strong. You have to be watchful of this. And if you look at it, it is comfortably placed in the median of the Bollinger Bands. The directional movement crossing over for a bullish move. The stock IST, which was trading oversold, has come directly to the overbought zone. The MACD was trading so far bearish. Now it is looking forward to converge, cross over and trade bullish. But till the time it does not, does not cross over, there is always a possibility of a divergence because see, the bottom here and the bottom here are a little higher or else also we can see if it reverses, we can see a continuous bullishness from here. Let's be watchful and observant a little till 106 and 108 levels. RSI trying to look up first, show a little strength there. And if you look at the monthly on the monthly charts too, it is certainly trading bullish above 20, 50, 100 months average. The directional movement is also bullish. However, it is trying to converge. Now see the stock IST has come to oversold levels on the monthly charts and hence a little recovery cannot be denied on the monthly chart. The candle is green. Probably once the next candle arrives, it will be already in the middle here somewhere and then the next candle might pull it a little up. Now see the directional movement, the MACD is trying to converge crossover for a sell and this crossover is happening at a pretty high levels. So on the monthly charts, you have to be watchful there. If not this month, probably next month, next to next month, couple of retracement candles and then next to next month, maybe April onwards, it may again try to slide a bit. Hence you have to be watchful there too. Now if you look at the RSI, this is trying to look up but show a little strength. So we have seen the charts, we have seen the indicators, couple of observations, let me summarize before I give you the trading levels. So we have found out that it was trading in the bearish channel so far on the daily weekly charts and now it is trying to recover. Also the uh, highs of the long term bearish channel is still at 107 levels right now even if it tries to trade above uh, next week or trade above 105.56 levels next week. It may find a very stronger resistance first at 107 and then at 108 levels. These two levels you should mark out for once it stays above 108 it will call for the more bullishness. Little more bullishness might take it above 110 and plus plus levels in the near term. And specifically for next week also this is applies to the same 105.506 zone you should watch out for. On the downside specifically for next week you should watch out for 104. 104.5 zone because below that little more bearishness is confirmed. Now let me give you the trading levels for next week and before we proceed yes if you want to learn this art of trading profitably you should join my mentorship by the 20th batch starts in first week of or uh, rather 13th of March where you can learn the strategies which can apply horizontally across indices, commodities, currencies and crypto as well. So reach out to me for more details my telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Now next week very simple 105.5 you can buy expect 106 now this is very very strong 106 105.5 last week also I told you you have to watch full of these levels only above this you can expect little more bullishness which might take it for 106.6 107.2 and 108 levels now be careful of 108 on the upside because beyond that directly we may see it lending very very soon in next few trading session 210 levels but this is going to be important i don't see probably but these are markets anything and everything is possible now on the sell side where to sell i will recommend you to sell at 104.8 expect 104.4 104 this is going to be first and this is going to be very strong resistance zone because below that we may see it hitting 103.5, 102, 101 and then sub psychological levels of 100 and till then you have to be careful right now on the monthly charts though it appears to be bearish on the weekly chart it appears that we may see a little more recovery before even in fact if it tries to drop and uh, that is what is happening right now a greener candle it means probably the candle anyways is going to remain green however you have to be watchful of 105.506 zone on the upside only breaking beyond which you can consider that it is trying to trade bullish till that time trade with the stop loss trade with the trailing stop loss do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon join my mentorship badge join my singles group reach out to me for more details 
my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description do like my channel subscribe the channel share it and comment it across too thank you very much have a great profitable trading week ahead thank you